Greetings everybody, it's Emily from Of Pages in Ink and today I will be doing my January wrap up and my February TBR. So if you haven't noticed this giant blank space, I got a blank space baby. Sorry. I don't even like Taylor Swift, but there are certain songs that I do like. Just like, I don't like Justin Bieber, but I do like Sorry. Anyway. Blank Space is because in the month of January, I read the entire The Darkest Mind, well, The Darkest Mind series, but I actually only read Beyond the Night and Through the Dark because I've already read In Time and um, Sparks Rise, and it was recently enough that I was like, oh, I don't need to read them. So, um, yeah, these books are fantastic, and I definitely recommend them, especially if you like kids with superpowers in dystopian worlds. Um, because that's what it is. It's, yeah. Um, so if you don't know anything, besides the fact that it's kids with superpowers in dystopian world, um, I will link down below my series discussion so you know a little bit more about it. Um, instead of going on, on a long tangent about it. Um... But it's definitely one of my favorite series, and like I said, I highly, highly recommend it. Alexander Bracken is a great storyteller. I have also read Passenger, which is another book that I read in January. Um, and I will put the link to that book talk that I just filmed down below as well. Um, and I've also read Brightly Woven, which I think was her first book. It was either her first one or her second one after The Darkest Minds. But it, it was a gorgeous tale that was just so cute. I loved it. I really need it on my bookshelf. So basically my point in saying is that Alexandra Bre Brecken is a fabulous author and she's one of my favorites. Um, and I actually only read her works this month. So this is all I read. I read obviously five books in January. Although I finished Passenger yesterday, but hey, you know. Whatever, still read it in January. Okay, and then I am currently reading The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and so far it's not bad. It's actually pretty interesting. It really, really, really makes me want to play Dungeons and Dragons, though. I don't know why. There's no dragons in this. There's no dungeons. There's just a princess running away from an arranged marriage so she can live a normal life. Which is kind of cliche and a little... I almost want to say it's a little selfish and sometimes I'm sitting there like, why couldn't you just marry the dude? You know, it, her reasoning behind it, besides the fact that it wasn't her choice, was like, he's gonna be some ugly crone. And I'm like, maybe not. Because, you know, just because his father is an old man doesn't mean his son's gonna be an old man. I mean, it could happen. But, um... So, I mean, I get it. And it's still a good story so far. I'm on page 113. So, got a ways to go. Um, and then, once I finish that, I'm going to read Zeros by Scott Westerfield. I need to get through my library books because I have so many books that I actually own that I need to read. And I still have these library books and they're due next week. So, I need to, I need to get on that. Um, although I'm probably going to end up renewing them anyway. Anyway, so Scott Westerfield and Deborah Biancotti and Margot Lanigan, um, which is a story about kids with powers. You see a theme in my, my reading. Um, don't call them heroes, but these six Californian teens have powers that set them apart. They can do stuff ordinary people can't. Take Ethan, aka Scam. He's got a voice inside him that'll te that'll say whatever you want to hear, whether it's true or not, which is handy except when it isn't, like when the voice starts grabbing, gabbing in the middle of a bank robbery and lands him in deep. The only people who can help are the other zeros who aren't exactly best friends these days. Enter Nate, aka Bellwether, the group's glorious leader. After Scam's SOS, he pulls the, the scattered Zeros back together, but when the rescue blows up in their faces, the Zeros find themselves propelled into a whirlwind, into whirlwind encounters which ever more dangerous criminals cross the city. Oh, with ever more dangerous. 
and at the heart of the chaos they find Kelsey, who can take a crowd in the palm of her hand and tame it or let it loose as she pleases. So that is Zeros. So there's Scam, the voice inside him says whatever you want to hear. Crash brings technology to its knees. Flicker can see through anyone's eyes but her own. Anonymous, out of sight, out of mind. Ooh, Flicker will be interesting. Um, Bellwether focuses the energy of a group on one goal and like finding one more zero, which is Kelsey, who has the power to control crowds. So I thought it was really interesting and I picked it up and there you go. Um, after that, I'm planning on reading the Black City Trilogy by Elizabeth Richards because I found it in my library. I saw Phoenix and I was like, that's a really pretty cover. I like Phoenixes, but what is this about? And that's the second book, but it seemed really interesting. And I had to, so they had these for a while. The first, or the second and the third. And I was like, Aww. So I was waiting for the first one. And they finally had the first one. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to go. Because if I don't, I'm not going to get them back. So I'm just going to read Black City so you know what it's about. In the aftermath of a brutal and bloody war in the still smoldering Black City, 16-year-olds Natalie Buchanan and Ash Fisher do the unthinkable. They fall in love. Oh, great. Trust me, Phoenix sounded so much better. Natalie, a human and the daughter of a government official, is reeling from her father's murder by a crazed darkling, upending her entire life. So how can she now be falling for Ash, a brooding half-blood darkling boy? I really should have read this before I picked it up. Phoenix sounded so much better. Natalie's heart betrays everything she's ever believed with one magnetic beat, forcing her to choose between her family and the boy she loves. Ash desperately tries to deny his feelings for Natalie. She is a sentry brat, after all. The very sentry who would love nothing more than to see all Darklings totally eradicated from the United Century States. For now, they have settled for banishing all Darklings to the wrong side of a ghetto wall, despite being half-human and belonging to being allowed to live on the human side, Ash is still scorned everywhere he goes, always wondering what it would be like on the other side of the wall with his own kind. Then Natalie steps into his life, a calming force, and he too has to choose, but choosing Natalie would get them both killed. A page turning and passionate romance set in the mesmerizing, perilous world, Black City is rich, atmospheric, green, not to be missed. So that actually sounded much better when I read Phoenix. Um, hopefully, it's more thrilling than that made it sound. But yeah, so Black City, oh that's Wings, hold on, Black City, Phoenix, and Wings, hopefully it's not going to be as bad as the description we did. Phoenix said it's so much better, I would read you Phoenix, but I'm not going to read every single book thing. Then I'm going to read This Is Where It Ends by Mari Marik Nijkamp, sorry probably look up how to say it. Um, but if you know nothing about what this book is, it is basically a book about a school shooting, which is something kids in America understand, especially lately. We really, really need gun control laws here. And I know the Second Amendment of the Bill of Rights says right to bear arms, but there's a difference between Having a right to have a gun for protection and having a right to have a gun to shoot a school. Like, a revolver is different than an AK-47. So, yeah. But, I'm honestly kind of excited to read this, because, read this because I've heard it's really good. And I was planning on reading it before I got back into my library books, but I was like, I don't really have the time because they're due and I can only um, renew them so often so I'm putting it to last um, but after that I have a whole bunch of books that I plan on reading um, so that is my January wrap up February TBR what books are you planning to read this month and what books did you read last month what was your favorite let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time Yeah,